Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had an absolutely insane first promo Friday of the year yesterday with the Mad Ready promo drop in this game. And EA also did something massive with packs in the store. It's shaking up the market a bit, and I want to talk about the potential trend that this could be signaling. Are there some things to come about the market that we learned just of how EA might be running the show this year with packs, especially with more of those packs maybe coming today. So we're going to talk about a lot of market today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, let's look over yesterday's content because it was a pretty crazy day to be completely honest. First of all, we all got, at least if you pre-ordered the game, you got a loan pack for a brand new Mad Ready card yesterday. I got VVD in mine. The best thing about this is it's got 24 games, and as we'll look into the objectives, you don't even have to buy any of these cards off the market because they just gave us a loan card that gives you enough games to get the objectives done in whatever game mode you want to get it done. They also gave us a free Team of the Week card, which my Team of the Week card was pretty, it was bad. It wasn't very good, but at least you got a free one. Let me know if any of you guys got something good from that pack that was dropped yesterday. We'll get packed to packs in a second, but first let's go to SBCs where we had another massive surprise. First promo Friday of the year, and we get a huge player SBC in Kevin De Bruyne flashback. What a card. Four-star, four-star. They boosted his pace up, but dropped some of his other stats in other areas. Kind of like a younger KDB, right? It's kind of like the baby flashback. And yes, um, it is a really, really good looking card. They actually changed his playstyles as well. His gold card has pinged pass playstyle plus. This one has incisive pass, which is for more accurate swerve passes with maximum curve. So still a great card. It's expensive though, that's the problem, right? An SBC like this for an 86 and an 87 rated squad is just tough to complete at this early on stage of the game because it's like, wait a second, we're not even thinking about fodder for SBCs yet because we've barely opened that many packs, right? Well, EA said, here's an SBC to make you think about fodder already because it's KDB. I mean, I think it's coming in technically at about 200,000 coins to do, which seems pretty steep. Uh, but as we'll talk about, there's actually a decent amount of packs right now that you can craft this card via um, the objective packs that you'll get. But guys, fodder is absolutely going up like crazy because nobody expected this SBC. Pop, one of the cheapest 88s yesterday in the game, 7,000 coins, almost doubling in price now to 13K. Are all 88s 13,000 coins? That's a pretty big rise uh, for the fodder market in literally one day. A lot of people made coins on these cards yesterday. And guys, I will tell you one thing. Bidding on these cards during times of supply is a fantastic way to trade. Bidding on 88s, I was winning Oblox uh, when he was 15k at the time. I was winning them at 9, 10,000 coins, instantly selling for 15,000 coins. Getting on the bids during times of supply is a great time, especially for fodder. Now that we have an SBC that a lot of people are just flat out doing it because it's KDB. I'm tempted to do this SBC because number one, I don't ever get to play with KDB often in Ultimate Team, I feel like. A flashback for him is a card that could last in your team for maybe a month or two and you know kdb is injured in real life so the likelihood of him getting promo cards is a bit smaller because of that injury so i don't know it's a bit tempting but it's also like wow that's just a big sbc to start off the game with so that's still a w player selection from ea and kind of a big sbc to drop that is only going to be out during early access so it'll be a rare one to have as well kind of a flex now we also had a the reds sbc yesterday for a tradable small pack but evidently it was glitched i don't know if it's glitched now but the liverpool player requirement inside of it was evidently not working and there was a lot of glitches yesterday let's see if i put endo in this sbc does it work for me it does so maybe it's fixed um it, it wasn't fixed earlier for sure but this was really glitched and so was the market so was the store and even just logging onto the game was difficult yesterday for a certain amount of time i think most of it is fixed now although some of your stores may or maybe not showing the pack animation like we were opening packs yesterday and you would click in to open the pack and it would say there was an error you click on the pack again and then it would skip the animation entirely but still show you what you got in the pack and like actually open the pack so that was really weird now the biggest part of this promo before we go to the store more and talk about the packs under the live section of objectives this is what the mad ready promo is all about they gave us that loan card right 24 games you take that card and go into any game mode so you got options right you can either go into squad battles and maybe complete that also playing towards squad battle rewards you're getting rewards for that 
and maybe work on an evolution at the same time, or you can just kind of boost allegedly and get some of these games done with a friend in friendlies right away as well. Love this from EA. It's no other requirements except play and win. You get some XP inside of this as well, and you get rewards along the way. Premium gold, you get an 80 plus times two, an 81 double, um, a player pick, another 81 double, jumbo premium gold pack, and of course at the end, we get a player pick and an 85 times two pack. A lot of people are asking, where's the 85 times two? That is the pack that you get for completing everything at the entire end of the objective. So that is there. And I think it's really worth it, guys. The fact that EA gave us the card to go and do the, the gameplay with, and we don't have to go buy it. I mean, the cards are on the market, yes, but they're almost kind of like, do they even have a use except for just looking cool and, and being on the market and the exact same stats as the gold card? You know what I mean? Uh, it really, not really. I mean, technically, you could go buy VBD for 240K and get the objective done with this one, but you might as well just use the loan one that you had, or maybe it's Kiesa, maybe it's Enzo, whoever. Um, more so, these are just going to turn into cool promo cards that are going to be pretty rare on the market. We're going to have to watch these card prices as we head throughout the week because... They're going to be cards that actually people would probably want to have in their team to uh, have a flex for a version, right? This Kiesa card looks sick. Is it upgraded? Are these cards upgradable at all? No, but it does look really cool. So they will have some value just because of that. And the pack weight for them seems pretty low as well. Even though we have a lot of packs in the store, the pack weight seems pretty low. Now let's talk about the pack weight. Let's talk about the store, guys, because yesterday EA dropped a crazy pack it's early access. We've been on this game for like a couple of days maximum, and they're already dropping a 175k pack in the store. The Essential Starter Pack, which is an 80 plus times 25 pack with 184 guaranteed, a draft token, and a couple of loans inside of there for a hero and an icon. And it's an entirely untradeable pack. Only a 3.1% chance of a mad ready player, by the way. Of course, there's only five in packs, but still. Uh, they also dropped a 50k pack. Guys, I want you to notice. These packs expire today at content on Saturday. They're coming back 100%. EA is not just going to release promo packs like this and then not put them back out in the early game when so many people are buying FC points. EA wants to get that bag. They want to make that money, guys. And it's going to impact the market each and every day like it did yesterday. We're going to see some somewhat similar movements, I think, on the market today because of these packs. That's what I want to really warn you guys about and talk to you guys about a lot in the video today is EA is really trying to control the market. I mean, it really caused a lot of prices to drop yesterday straight away after these packs were dropped in the store. Darwin Nunez, everybody's favorite evolution right now, was 32K, his highest price yet. These packs came out, boom, all the way down to 26. He's 27, 28,000 coins right now. You take a look at almost the entire market. A lot of cards were dropping yesterday at content because of this. Layout was down to 100K. Now, some cards in the top tier have started to rise back up a bit, right? Your top tier meta cards that people are starting to buy for their teams. Rashford's one of those, almost 200K now, that is starting to go up a bit. But, you know, you can see he was down at 160 yesterday with all the pack supply that was going on. So it's kind of doing both things right now. It's making some prices drop because you're getting cards, especially on that middle to low tier, that are getting supplied. Um, a really good example of a card that dropped yesterday, also a very popular striker for Evolutions, Dan Juma. Dan Juma was like almost 20K. It was 19,000 coins. Went all the way down to 14,000 coins. Right now, he's still around that same price. But it was because of the supply. Now, there was a lot of extra supply yesterday because of these packs. But like we just mentioned, and you see with the timer, they're coming back again today. So that would make me think and probably make you think as well that there's going to be even more supply today. So are we still going to see prices for cards that we started to invest in? Maybe you invested in them last night. Maybe you invested in them uh, two days ago when the market hit a very low point as well. Are we going to start to see cards go up in price? Like we've been talking about, like, man, we've been expecting these price rises because the meta market rises as we get towards the full game release. And it absolutely will, and it still does. But at least right now, EA is trying to control that a lot by putting a lot of supply out. Because these promo packs this early in the game, they impact the market a lot, guys. Because there's not, yes, there are a lot of people on the game right now. But there's not near as many that are going to be on the game in now compared to now than there is in like two weeks. When you have the full release of the entire game for the standard edition opened up to the rest of the world. There's a lot more people that come on the game then as well. And that's what really helps the prices rise. And if EA keeps supplying these cards in the market, they're probably not going to rise that much. 
with all of the packs. I still think they will, though, and I would say if you have some of these cards, like a Griezmann, like an Nkunku, uh, like a card that's probably 30, 40, 50k or more that's higher rated, right? The key is higher rated and meta. I think you're still okay to hold a decent amount of these cards. The ones that I'd be worried about are some of those lower rated ones, especially the ones that people are putting into evolutions um, that are, you know, once the hype for those evolutions is really kind of up, I, I think they could drop. So just be careful for your lower, lower rated ones because the supply is going to keep coming in even further today. Now let's talk about today specifically with those packs refreshing. Are we going to see prices dip? I think so. I think we're going to see prices again on the market today take a bit of a drop. Um, and you know, there might be a slight rise in the morning. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bit of a market rise early this morning as people get up on Saturday today, they're excited to go grind evolutions, grind squad battles. I mean, this is the only time of the year where you say I'm excited to grind squad battles, right? That's the next set of rewards that is out. But people are just excited to grind this game right now, right? That's just that's, it's the brand new game. I'm excited. Everybody's excited to be playing ultimate team and i think that's going to make some prices go up a little bit there's not going to be much supply in the early parts of the day today but once we get towards the middle to latter part of the day i do believe there could be some sell-off and there could be some prices that end up falling especially on the middle tier of the market um as we head in towards content because people are going to be expecting that supply to come in again and people are going to sell ahead of time we've seen it the past two days now Cards drop a little bit into content, and then they drop a little bit further after content because of the supply. I think that's what people are going to be expecting again today. So watch out for cards in the market. Maybe a slight rise this morning, but then dropping after content. And then again, like we saw yesterday with a few of these cards as well, uh, I'll use Dan Juma as the example once again because this card is so in demand right now and just a great example of how cards are moving on the market. Um, this, this dip right here, right? You've got supply, you see this dip. Could cards bounce back up even later today on Sunday if you're trying to time the market and trade a bit? Absolutely, 100% that could happen today as well. So just keep an eye on the market for fluctuations. There are going to be a lot of them. Uh, the next supply for the market that's really gonna be like big and massive is probably gonna be squad battle rewards. Squad battle rewards coming on Sunday. Uh, a lot of people are gonna have those rewards. That's where you're going to see a lot of supply hit the game because people will have, be, will have packs from playing the game, doing the evolutions, and playing for the rewards inside of that mode. So definitely keep an eye uh, on stuff for then. But the market's going to be moving a lot in between now and then as well. So watch the meta rise this morning. I've even started to get on bids, guys. And I want to say this. If you're trying to make coins right now, get on the bids, right? Bruno Game and Resh is 7,500 coins, and I just picked up four of them for basically 1K per per card profit, or maybe a little bit more than that, right? 5.7, I can sell that for seven and a half. I picked up two Leroy Sanes, one of them with a Hunter right here. He sells for a couple thousand more with the Hunter. I really haven't looked into chemistry style trading, guys, but I think it works really, really good. Um, I haven't got a sale yet, but I just bought a Bruno Guimaraes with a chem style of a Shadow um, for, I think it was like his going price on the market. I got it with a Shadow, and it sells for like 2K more with the shadow chemistry style applied you can see like bruno is just about 7.5 just maybe a little below that 7.4 7.3 maybe on the market right now yeah 7.3 you can probably get a sale on so there's actually a few more here listed up interesting um yeah oh there it is 6.9k with the shadow can i get that oh we're good we are in see i think i can sell that for like eight and a half k so i think chemistry style trading works give it a try try it out see if it works uh, for you on a certain card, but I, I went for that. I'm, I'm hoping today that there can be a little bit of a rise into the morning. I'm not putting a ton of coins into it, um, but I'm going to put some coins into it. I'm going to say that I'm going to go for it a little bit. Trading recently has been good. It's been good. It's been tough to time though, because we've been expecting some of these cards to rise and rise and rise, but it's really all about the timing and it's really all about uh, the cards that are a bit more rare, icon flipping, trading with heroes, uh, if you time it correctly, look at their graphs, I think is pretty good. Um, and also, I would say, guys, get on the bids. I, like I mentioned for fodder or SBC solution trading, a lot of people are SBC solution trading. And it's a very oversaturated trading part of the game, but it works because everybody wants packs right now. Yesterday, uh, random cards like Ogabu, I sold a couple of these too early because it didn't even go up that much. But Nandez is a card that I've been trading with day in and day out. Buy this for 600 700 sell it for 2700 um, you know, a couple of these bronze goalkeepers going for almost 3k, um, you know, that card for 2k, there was a bunch back here, all these Rodriguez cards for 4,000 coins. Like it's crazy. Um, 
how much these cards can move because of the solution trading. But just be careful. It's all about timing. It's very difficult, but it's also very fun once you get it down. You can make a lot of coins in a short time frame. Also, this guy, Mahmood, I had to buy a couple of him. This might be my next evolution, guys, because I just I bought three of them, sold two, just for reference sake. He was like 400 coins, right? And then I saw this. You can take this guy, put him into the Pacey Protector, which is meant for center backs because he has the second secondary position of a center back. You can get him a nice pace boost upgrade there with 15 pace and then uh, six passing and a little bit there. And then you put him into the golden glow up because he's still a bronze card at that point. And he goes from a 64 to an 84 after golden glow up part one and two. And that's a crazy card. I know he's two star, three star, but he can play center mid, CDM and center back for just a, a few games of squad battles. You're taking a 62 rated bronze to an 84 rated gold. Guys, Evolutions is like the best thing that has happened to this game in ages. Like this is insane. The stuff that you can do. I know it's got all the rage and all the hype right now on this game as well. I just started Julian Alvarez as my founder's evolution because he got very high dribbling. And I'm hearing that dribbling is very, very, very one of the meta stats that you want to be focusing on. Like the agility, the balance, the dribbling stat itself. So I went with him because he was cheaper. I didn't want to spend a lot of coins on somebody to upgrade them that was going to cost me like 20 or 30k like Darwin or even the Injuma. I was tempted by it, but I went for Alvarez because I think he would be an also a nice card to upgrade overall later on when more evolutions hopefully come out and stuff like that. So that's kind of the state of the game at this moment, at this time. The market is a crazy place. I made some coins yesterday. We lost some coins on some of these flips. Um, Bonatti, Lizarazu, VVD. It's, I'm going to stop trading with expensive cards, guys. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trade with the cheap stuff because that's the stuff that's been for me working the best and I'm having the most success in. Other people may not be the case, but the lower rated stuff, the fodder and the chemistry style flips, the uh, SBC solution flips, that's, that's where it works the best for me. And as you guys are maybe growing grinding gameplay this weekend one last tip i want to show you is uh this tweet from foot donk here a lot of people are saying they're having speed up lag in game he says that you can fix this in gameplay by going to game settings visual and the playstyle plus overhead indicator if you flick that off instead of on for a lot of people it is helping the gameplay lag now that doesn't fix the menu problems because we all know there's a lot of menu problems in this game right now at least it seems you know searching the market just like the menus crash it looks so good but it also at the same time is just like annoying with how much how many crashes there are also as i say this i forgot to open my preview pack today so we're gonna rip this really quick right in front of you guys see if we get anything good argentinian goalkeeper uh ledesma is Ledesma Argentinian? I don't even... Yes. Okay. Ledesma, 82 rated Argentinian. That's not bad. Will he sell for an SBC or something? I might have to check really quick. Compare price. Nah, he's 750. All right. Well, preview pack, L for me. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Keep watch on the market. Keep grinding. And uh, yeah, just focus maybe on the low tier stuff as well, especially if you're in a lower amount of coins. That low tier might just be the place to work in and, and live out of in terms of the flips and the trades and all that sort of thing. And by the way, this Conte is going to be stuck on my transfer targets for ages. Every time I try to send him to the club, it says connecting, you know, something glitch. I'm going to have that Conte. And he's not even smiling, bro. It's just no smile Conte on my transfer targets. Probably for like a long time, which is going to be very annoying. But anyways, that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace. Out.